Okay everyone, we're ready to do the teapot now. I've already cut out all my pieces and inked the edges. So we're going to start with the bottom box, which is this part right here. And what you're going to do is you're going to fold all of the score marks down. Okay. And the sides for this comes in two files. This one which is attached to the bottom and this one. <clears throat> okay, after you've done that, now we're ready to assemble. Get our glue here. And I'm going to start with this little tab right here. And just going to glue that together right there. And then you're going to flip it over and add glue to the bottom tab right there and glue it to the bottom by lining. there you go there's the bottom box now the next thing we're going to do is add these these um, panels and I cut out 20 of them in the file there's only 10 I cut out 20 because I want to do the outside and I want to do the inside with it so we're going to go ahead and get started on that I only add glue to the top and the bottom that way it can bow out give it a more rounded shape okay and we're just going to keep going around The, this is the bottom box. We got all of our panels on it. We're going to start the top box, which is the top of the teapot. And what you're going to do, you're going to fold over all the score marks here. Okay. And then we're going to start assembling it. I'm going to show you the first two and then show you what it looks like completed. Okay, so we're going to add glue to our tabs here. Okay, line them up. Okay. 
Okay. <clears throat> Okay, once you get all of these assembled together, you're going to close it off by adding glue to the tabs and then line it up. And seal it together. And there you go. There's the top of the tea kettle. Now, um, there the teapot and now we're going to start adding our panels for this file and we're only going to add them um, we're only going to glue the very top and the very bottom that way it will bow out to give it more of a roundness look To the very top and you'll want to center it through the section there and there we go just like that okay now that we've got all of our panels on the top part of the teapot secured we're going to glue on the top box bottom this goes inside and it glues right at the score mark of this little rectangle here and the tab goes up it does not go down and what that's going to do is create a box for the top and separate it from the bottom so that the bottom so that the top doesn't go all the way over the bottom. Okay, so let's get our glue. And we're just going to fit it inside. And glue down. it right inside there and glue it down make sure you are lining up the tab with the perforation <clears throat> okay so we're going to go ahead and continue to do that all the okay now that we've got the bottom box inside what that's going to do is it's going to stop it from going all the way down over the bottom box and it's going to create a box for the top of the teapot as well. And with any shaped box, it's got to line it up to get it on perfectly. And there we go. So it stops the bottom from going all the way in, and um, there we go. <clears throat> so now we're going to be working on the handle. It comes in two pieces. You're going to glue them together, back to back. <clears throat> like that okay and we're gonna keep these tabs out we're gonna put glue on them and we're gonna glue it to 
one of the sides here. We'll go ahead and glue it right here. You really should do this before you put a panel on. Whoops. So I'm going to take one panel off and just re-glue it on later. <clears throat> so you're just going to want to do it, want to put the handle right on a crease. Okay. And you just glue it right on, right on there. Then I'm going to glue my panel back down right now. So there's the handle. Okay, now we're ready to do the spout. I've already um, inked it, folded all the score marks, and now we're just going to get ready to assemble it. Just add your glue on the tab and fold it over and assemble your spout. Just like that. Okay. And now you're going to add glue to the back tabs and then the spout is going to be facing up like this, like that. And we're going to attach it right here to the panel. And I'm just pressing down and Got my finger inside, giving it support. And there we go. And your spout is on. Okay, now we're going to work on the lid. The lid is a flower, but we're going to work on the base of the lid right now. And that's this dosagon, which is a 10 sided polygon. And this strip of tabs here. I'm going to fold in between all these tabs, give it a crease, and then we're going to fold down these tabs here. Okay, and we're just going to glue it all together to the base. First I'm going to attach the sides together. Just glue them together at the end there. And then I'm going to add glue to each of these sides here. And then just glue this on down. I'm going to match up the sides so that each side will go down right. Okay. And this does not have to be absolutely perfect. It's going to be hidden by the flower on top. So, okay, and there we go. Got it all glued down together. And now we're going to work on the flower, which is right here. This is the lid top. You're going to bend down all of the teeth. Put some glue on this tab here at the end. Wrap it around and glue it together. Okay. And wait for that to dry. Okay, and keep bending these teeth down. Then you're going to glue on the top here. 
Okay. And there we go. And just put my finger inside and pushing down. Might be easier to do it from the inside. Use your table, your workspace for help. Okay, and there's the top. And these are gonna get pushed down and glued onto the top of the flower at the end. So let's get started with the flower. You have four pieces of the petals and you're just going to glue them together and alternate the petals so that it, the spaces in between get covered. And then you're going to, okay, so you're going to start with the second set here and one is a little bit smaller than the other and that one goes on top so we're going to add our glue in here. And again, alternate the petals so that it fills in the, the spaces as best you can. That works best. Okay, and now I'm going to glue this onto the bottom part. And there we go. Now this is the, the center. You're going to want to flip up all these little petals here. One is smaller than the other, so it will fit right inside. And you can turn these up after you glue them together. And I'm going to glue this piece into here. I'm going to glue the top knob into the center first before I glue it anywhere else. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to glue it down to here. The center of here and you're going to want to alternate the petals here as well okay so there we go that one didn't glue down not enough glue on it There we go. There. Okay, and we're going to take this piece and glue it onto the center of the flower. And this is the lid for the teapot. want to use hot glue for this part. And that's just going to and it's just going to sit right on top after we glue down our top piece here. So, we're going to glue that down to the flower. And flip it over and center it. Okay. And wait for that to dry. And it's just going to fit right inside. Just like that. And there you go. The top of the lid and the bottom and it all fits together. Okay, now we're ready to assemble the tray. I've already assembled one side. I'm going to show you how to do 
the rest. First we're going to start with the flower and it comes each flower, there's six flowers, each flower comes with two layers of petals and you're just going to add glue to the center, alternate the petals and glue it together just like that and then you're going to add the center of the flower Okay, and for my project I decided to use these little glitter buttons so I'm just gonna add my glitter button on okay and now we're gonna start with our side here already gone ahead and glued on the panel the side panel for this side and I'm going to go ahead and glue on, this is the flourish bottom, I did not cut off, cut out the flourish top, I didn't want that on my project, but it is an option, the file is included. You're going to estimate where you're going to place these at. I put them in between the flowers, there's three flowers on each side, and two of these flourishes, so I just estimated to put it on right here and onto this side okay, okay. And there we go now I'm going to glue on my flowers You can curl up the um, petals if you like and think it would be pretty. Okay, and just place that right in the center of those two. Okay, add glue, place it down. Now you can do you can add all the embellishments after you assemble the tray. You can do the panels after you assemble the tray. It doesn't matter the order on this particular project here. So there we go. We have the, these two sides done. I've already gone ahead and glued the panels to the outsides of the tray here. This is side two. And I'm just going to bend down the tabs. Here. And I really like adding the panels. It gives makes it very, very sturdy. And here is the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and put glue on the tab of side two at the bottom there. And then we're going to line up the bottom and we're going to glue it down. right there. Okay, and we're going to do that with this side also. Add glue. Line it up. And glue it down. Okay, and then we're going to do that with the other two sides we have. Put glue down on these sides here. Line it up. Okay, I just line it up with the score mark there and glue it down. And then, same thing for this side. What I love about this tray is it is so big and when you put the panels on it is so sturdy so it can hold quite a bit of weight here. And then um, you can also cut out extra panels, put them on the inside, which I did do. I cut out extra panels and I am going to put them on the inside here. 
And I just glued that. On. That was not as straight as I wanted it to be. Just noticed on the back. So I'm just going to add more glue here. And line it up again. Right there. Okay. Okay, now we're going to take these sides, these side panels here, the tabs, and we're just going to prop them up and glue them together. Just like that. teacup fits in along with the teapot so that would be a very very cute presentable gift um, you can size down the vase and put it in there as well and everything matches coordinates together with this set so it can totally be used together and I absolutely love this set so there's the tray <laughs> 